Plumbing Lisa here. Today we're going to do a review on plumping lip glosses as well as some other lip glosses that I've gotten a little curious about on the market. Wanted to kind of do a little price comparison and a review on just the benefits and how the products work a little bit so that you can see um, you know what works best for you. So the first one that we're going to go over is the Victoria's Secret uh, Very Voluptuous Lip Plumper Extreme. Now I just checked online. I've had this one for quite some time. Um, I checked online to see if they even still carry this and it is available on Amazon. Um, I believe Victoria's Secret still has some other type of plumpers but not this particular one that I've been using. You apply this with a brush and it is a click type where you have to keep clicking uh, for the product to come out. The one that I have is clear. I'm wearing it right now. Um, the gloss is not sticky, which is good to know. It is, um, you can feel a little bit of the tingling going on, but I never felt like it really did. I mean, it might plump just a little, maybe the first half an hour or so. Other than that, it's not a long lasting plump. I looked up the price. I can never remember spending as much as it's saying, but it says anywhere from 24 to 49.99 for this tube. I was like, that's crazy. Um, I may have paid 24. I don't remember it being that high, but it's a good gloss. I'm not gonna totally diss it. I just think for the price that um, it doesn't do exactly 100% of what I'd hope for. The next one that I just recently got was off Sephora and it is the Buxom brand, which comes in an impressive 99 shades, which I found to be really cool. Uh, the price point on this, and it's a very good size, is $19, which for me, uh, being an Avon rep for this many years, to spend this much on a plumping lip gloss was a little uh, crazy, but I thought, you know what? If it's that amazing, I wanna try it um, because I love beauty products and I wanna know whether it's really that good. So I'm gonna take this it's off It's a very nice quick. gloss. This is their favorite shade in Dolly. So it looks very similar if you're an Avon rep to the Avon applicator. It is a very um, non-sticky, this one tastes good, smells good. Um, I've had some experience being on Ipsy before of getting some glosses that I've literally just thrown away in the trash because the smell was very chemically or you would go like this with your lips and your lips would like stick together. So the good things I have to say about Buxom is that you do immediately feel that pepperminty, a little bit of a tingling going on. It tastes good, it smells good. Price point was a little again shocking for me at $19. Um, but I would not diss this product. The names are also really cute. So they have a uh, different buxom name. So this one's Dolly. Uh, they have like Chloe and you might even be able to find your name. They had like Andrea and um, you know, Jennifer and all these different names. So you can go by your name and find out what your color is or just pick the shade that you like best. But with uh, 99 shades, you're sure to find a shade that you would like. Uh, just keep in mind the price point of being $19 is a little pricey in my opinion for a lip gloss. Um, I do feel like I said it tingling. I don't think it blows them up like, you know, some of the pictures show that it's supposed to do. But um, I think with lip, lip liner, you can kind of do that um, on its own. The next one is actually an Avon product. This is the smaller version. I want to show you the difference. Um, this is actually the liners in this. But this is the new sizing of our hookups. So they're much bigger than the former. I'm trying to get through. You can see how small. Let's see if I could try to give a price a size difference. So these are much smaller than the new ones. Hookups snap right in. So this is, this one goes, whoop, wrong side. <laughs> this one goes into here. You can change out your product. So these are um, uh, eyeliners. And this is an old one from Christmas that is more of the mini size. Uh, we do have uh, a lip plumper in this that I have used. I could not find it at the moment. Uh, they basically just come off like this. They have a little brush, most of them. Um, that are in this particular formula. And this is called Total Kiss Up. Um, and again, the Total Kiss Up is gonna be more of this sizing. They are $10 each and they come in six different shades. Um, they're fairly new as far as the uh, hookup plumping lip gloss in the shades. They've got some new shades. Um, and it definitely has some tingling effects also to it, but it's $10. Um, again, your product size is gonna be about this versus Buxom that gives you a whole lot more. Um, but I do love the, the glosses with Avon. They do have sparkle, shimmer, cream, a little bit of everything. The next one is actually Avon's 
my favorite favorite um, lip gloss is um, the Ultra Glaze Wears. Now these do come in, and I wrote my little notes here. We have, I believe it's 24 shades. Let me just double check. 20 shades. 20 shades of these glosses. Now what I love about these glosses, again, not sticky. Let me go ahead and take off the uh, buxom. So this is our beautiful pink here. I believe it is, if I could read it, I wanna say it's the palm pink, but it's very bright. What I love about this one, and I had no lip brush, is that it's, again, not sticky, very high shine. Um, there is no plumping effect of this one, but I have a trick for you. Now, this is my trick, so use with your own discretion. If you wanna try this with any of your lip glosses, it works for me, but do note that Avon lip gloss or any lip glosses that you have are to be used the way they are. Um, this is just an at-home trick that I use. I use a couple drops of peppermint oil. This is the doTERRA brand, and I put it right into my lip gloss and kind of stir it up, shake it up, and it gives you that same plumping effect. Some people may be a little more sensitive. Peppermint oil can be very strong. So that's why I'm saying, I don't want to get any crazy feedback from some of you saying, Lisa, burn my lips. My lips are all swollen. I'm telling you, use it at your discretion. It works for me. I love it. And for the price of $6 for an Avon lip gloss, I can make a plumping one with just a drop or two of peppermint oil right into my lip gloss. And um, it gives that swelling effect uh, that most women are looking for these days without a lip injection. So you may want to try that. And again, our glaze wares are 20 different shades, again, for only $6. And when they run on sale, sometimes we run two for $6.99. Uh, we've had uh, four for 10, so that makes them $2.50 each and $2.99 each. So there's some great pricing there. And I think that's, oh, last one, one more. Now this one I picked up at the drugstore the other day. And this one was more, I wanted to see if there was a gloss out there that would stay all day long. Now Avon has something called Extra Lasting and it is a great gloss and we do have a great lipstick and it stains your lips very well. I have yet to find one that I am just so gaga over that, um, you know, that it really, really stays. This is the L'Oreal Paris uh, version of the new and you know what, they, I took the label off so it's the new one. I should have the name. I'll try to put it in the bottom of the description when I'm editing here. But lots of different shades. It's a small part here, and then the other side is a balm, okay? Which Avon has the lip stains that do that. We have the extra lasting lip gloss, the extra lasting lipstick. Now here's what I found with this. At first I thought I loved it. So the color is very nice. It's very smooth. There is no funny flavor or taste to it, which some lip glosses tend to have. But here's the issue that I have with this one, because I'm going to be actually taking this back. So at first I was like, okay, so you kind of want to let your lips dry a little bit with this before you put on the balm. So I let them do that. And then I put the balm on. And at first I thought, wow, this is awesome. It stained them. There's a nice color. Everything was great. 10 minutes later, I started, I got to drink water. I started to notice the lip gloss rolling, coming off my lips almost like in little particles. And um, almost like if you had painted something and the paint uh, started to roll away, that's what this lip gloss started to do. And for 12, about $12 for this, I thought, no, it's going back. And I, I told the lady when I was buying it, I says, if this stuff isn't good or I have any problems with it, I'm taking it back. And she said, fine. So this is going back to Walgreens. Um, I don't want to be talking with somebody and having bits and pieces of this just, I don't even know if I can reproduce it. It just, you know, I made sure my lips were clean when I did it, but it just started rolling off like in chunks and it was just the weirdest thing. So I was like, uh, no. So at any rate, that is my quick review today of these one, two, three, four, I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six different glosses, um, that you are five. I have my eyeliners in there five different glosses that you can try out for yourself. And you know, if you've tried any of these and you love them or you wanna give me a review down below of what you think of these products, uh, feel free to post below. Again, I think um, the most inexpensive one would be the Avon Glaze Wear with a few drops, like I said, of peppermint oil, give you the same effect. Um, my second choice, you know, we have the Mark and the Buxom. I like the Buxom. I just find for $19 it being really pricey, you do get a lot of product. Um, but I just feel like 
I can't spend $19 on a lip gloss. So that's also going back, uh, unfortunately, to Sephora. So at any rate, go ahead and let me know what you think of trying the peppermint oil. Jesus, I'm falling apart here. Good Lord. Whew. Don't want my bra. Now y'all know I was wearing a red bra today. Lovely. Okay, but anyway, try the peppermint oil if you're not real sensitive and let me know what you think of that in your lip gloss. Um, again, independent review here, not paid by Avon, all these products I bought myself. And if you decide to put peppermint oil in there and you have any weird reactions, I am not being held responsible for that because I'm telling you it's a tip that I do. And if you'd like to do it personally on your own, that is entirely up to you and use it your own discretion. So at any rate, have a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful purpose day. And I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.